1955 election was called by Anthony Eden just nine days after he replaced Winston Churchill as Prime Minister, who resigned due to ill health. Having won power in 1951, at the age of 76, Churchill would govern as an absentee Prime Minister, leaving much of the business of government to senior ministers, such as Butler, Eden and Macmillan. He even suffered a stroke in 1953, and yet he remained in office as Prime Minister until the age of 80, with his cabinet essentially running the country. The election in 1955 was the fourth election fought by Clement Attlee as leader of the Labour Party. At this point, Attlee was 72, but he stayed on as leader because he did not want Herbert Morrison to succeed him. Attlee was leading a divided party, with the Bevanites on the left of the party arguing for an implementation of socialism, whilst the Gatesgalites on the right wanted the party to move away from the policies of nationalisation and embrace social democracy. So Labour went into the election appearing divided to the electorate. Eden was younger than Attlee at 57, and he was regarded as a competent senior minister, having served as foreign secretary in both of Churchill's governments. In reality, however, Eden would prove to be bad at delegating, would overreact during times of stress, and his health was much worse than it appeared at the time but none of this was known by the public at the time of the election. The 1955 election was perhaps the first election where television would play an important role, as 4.5 million households in the UK now owned a television set, compared to just over three quarters of a million at the previous election. This is also the first election where there is surviving archive footage of election night, although the BBC had broadcast election coverage in both 1950 and 1951. During the election, the two main parties were allocated three television slots for party political broadcasts, and they reached a large audience, which is why many describe 1955 as the first TV election. The Conservatives went into the election having led in the polls since the beginning of the year, and they were widely expected to win, but their lead was only ever by a narrow margin of 3-4 to percentage points over Labour, and so the election outcome was not a foregone conclusion. The campaign itself never really got off the ground according to contemporary accounts, with both sides refusing to campaign negatively. In fact, Eden, who served with Attlee in the wartime coalition, described the Labour Party as, quote, our socialist friends, which was a marked contrast with Churchill's more forthright style in previous elections. If anyone was the bogeyman of the campaign, it was Bevan, who was mentioned by name in 10% of Conservative election dresses. Meanwhile, Labour tried to make an issue out of the cost of living, the plight of old-age pensioners, and the threat that a Tory government might pose to the right to strike. But much of this fell on deaf ears as the economy was performing well, and the Conservatives had followed through with their pledges they'd made at the previous election, including building 300,000 new homes. The party also received credit for ending rationing, and had preceded the election by announcing a number of tax cuts, including a cut to the main rate of income tax. Looking at the factors in play then in 1955, it seems hardly surprising that the Conservatives won, with a majority of 60. They were united behind a new leader, had delivered on their 1951 election manifesto, were presiding over a stable economy, had just implemented tax cuts, had ended rationing a year earlier, and they were ahead in the polls. Meanwhile, Labour were seen to be divided, and weren't in a position to attack a government who was seen as competent. The Conservatives would go on to win again in 1959 with an even bigger majority before finally losing power to Harold Wilson's Labour Party in 1964 after being in office for 13 years. Well that's all for me for now, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about the 1955 election. Please do watch some of my other videos about previous elections. And for now, goodbye and best wishes.